good y'all this is masterpiece y'all already know what it is uh this video right here is about how we want to become spiritual but we always forget the opposite that our spirits want to be physical now i'm, I'm just going to preface it with this like religion 90 percent of the world is religion i mean there's the big three religions and there's buddhism and then so on and so forth even this new age crap is a religion nowadays um that shows on a fundamental level that people do know that there's something greater than their existence and what they see uh and also it shows that people want to aspire towards it even if even if it's a christian or, or a jew okay even though their doctrines are so messed up and so fundamentally flawed and mistaught, they still have this burning desire, this inclination to take up a religion. Even if they know, even if they do not understand some stories, uh, they know it's allegory. They don't. They they know that a snake doesn't possibly talk. So how could you know this happen and? A burning bush that never actually burns and all that crap. They still, even though they know it's allegory, they still hold on to it because there is a, a piece of their of their being that wants to, that yearns to be spiritual or return back to its etheric state. Because, you know, everything is very dense down here. You know, you... You, you walk slightly into a wall and you bump the corner. It's like, ah, damn, my shoulders. Like, I didn't even see that, you know? And you, you, you got to make plans. You know, it starts here, then you have to draw it down, and then you got to build it. And it, so the whole manifesting process here, the whole getting around and navigating is, is, is very tough because it's third density. It's very physical. And, you know, th this also... This also it goes for thought like you know sometimes everything is so dense that we 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 can't see pat we can't see the forest through the trees and we get caught in this material these material problems that we ourselves have manifested and because everything is so dense we can't see the future as we should we can't predict the future as as we once were able to um so it's a very tricky place to navigate this third uh density but it is a place to get experience. Remember, Earth Earth isn't a, a location. It's not like a, there's Earth and there's Mars and there's Jupiter. Earth is a is a state. It's a state of consciousness. It's a you know it's a vibratory state. You have your etheric state, which is happening here, and you have your physical state you have the midgard which uh you know throughout um uh, a lot of cosmologies and and theosophies you you know you hear the, the, that term the midgard the middle ground eden and you have hell which is here as well you know you can um it, it it's all it, it it's a state this this earth is a realm you know you can raise hell and experience it or you can bring heaven down you know, an angel falls. Okay, so the, the we're we're physical and we're, we're we're here and we're trying to be spiritual. We're trying to get in touch with our soul, and and some of us say, "Man, I I can't take this place anymore. I want out. I want to go back to uh, how I was in my etheric state." And that is a very sad cop out, you know, for for your soul to hear you ponder about because remember you're trying to be physical you're, you're trying to be spiritual but your spirit is trying to be physical there's a lot to experience on this earthly plane okay this realm is a realm for this type of experience jealousy uh intense passions uh lusts pleasures hard work determination uh showing yourself that what you put in, you get out. Okay? What you reap, you sow. 
karma. You know, these, these, these things couldn't all happen if we were all knowing. You know, we couldn't make mistakes and learn from them if, if they were all, if we were all knowing. So um, being in this physical realm is a, is a good thing. And I know it gets tough. I, I know that it gets tough. I, I do. But, you know, I was about to go into my life story, but I don't have to. We all know it gets tough. You know, thoughts of suicide, thoughts of running away, thoughts of just leaving everything. But when you do that, you, you enact upon yourself a sense of an, a, an unneeded sense of ignorance for your next stage. You see, um, when you get jolted out of the body prematurely, you know, you, you see ghosts and stuff walking around, you know, your father dies and then, the, you know, the candles flicker. Like, is that my dad? That's because all the, all the realms, the higher and lower, they're all, there is no space, you know. We, we're all aware with quantum physics and the fact that sunlight doesn't actually take, or the effects of, of the sun doesn't actually take this long to get here. And that if you if you bottle up uh, water from the same source and then split that water and put them on the other sides of the plane uh, of our known plane, then if you affect one canister of water, then the other canister that you divided it from does the exact same molecularly uh, instantaneously. So you shine a laser and affect the DNA, the molecule structure of the one quart of water, and instantly, without you touching it or even looking at it, the other one's molecules start to uh, mimic the, the, the quart that you're affecting. So there is no space, there is no lapse, okay? That's just an illusion. That's an illusion set by this uh, level of density so that we're not all knowing because what happened in, in, with Adam and even the garden they they stagnated they were all knowing they named everything they already had names for everything they knew that this does that and that does that they named all the herbs so now like dr valentine says lucifer came to redeem us you know lucifer the snake vibration you know stagnation vibration it, it came to revitalize us and go yo, yo like expand don't just stay here expand vibrate out you're dying here so um, this, if we knew everything, then we would never have the opportunity to relieve our karma. And sometimes we get so caught up in this physical realm that we are actually building negative karma. You can build good karma, dharma, and you can build negative karma, which is karma. And um, what you do here on this plane now affects not only your future, but it affects your past. And that's just, that's something that's, that is a whole nother video if you guys wanna know about that. Explain how your present affects your past and how you actually spring from your future. You're, you're, not, you're not a result of a child. You are a result of an, of an adult. Um, anyways, this is why our children are older than us, by the way. So, you're trying to be physical, but you're, you know, you're trying to be spiritual, but your spirit is trying to be physical. You know, it, we're so mystified when we learn metaphysical teachings, you know, when we, when we learn that the symbolism in the Bible relates to the brain and the, how the manna and it drips and it goes down your spine and uh, rejuvenates and travels back up the spine and drips gold and all that kind of wonderful, wonderful metaphysical things, you know. I think we all can agree when we hear that, when we hear that those divine teachings, when we come across a good book, the, ba the Bhagavad Gita, um, when we come across people like Krishnamurti, we are mystified and we are into it. Like, oh my God, I want more and more and more and more. And you, you know, you, you you stay up late watching these lectures, reading these books, not eating. You're getting in touch with your non-physical side. You know, you're not eating. You're fasting. Uh, you know, you just don't feel the hunger. You're, you're into the information. You're getting the higher light code frequencies. You're um, you're being spoken to from your higher self, and you're hearing it. And we think, oh, if I only knew all there was to know about 
the spirit world, I could just transcend out of my body and be spirit. Well, motherfucker, you just came from the spirit realm to be physical, and now you're and now you're you're bombarding yourself with spiritual knowledge to try to get back to that when you don't have to. You are that. You know, you are that. You are a soul having a physical experience. You know, so when life gets too tough, you know, maybe when your kids are depressed and you notice that they're sad, you know, they're taking high school too seriously. When you're taking your job too seriously, maybe when somebody passes away, maybe you cheat on somebody and your girlfriend leaves you and your whole world seems to end. I'm not saying that that's what you were meant to experience because remember, you could build your own karma and you can mentally work out situations and manifest things. But these are the lessons needed for you to possibly never do it again. Uh, for you to learn maybe a fundamental, simple truth about um, so that's somewhere buried deep within that problem. Like say you cheated on your wife and she leaves you and whatever. And, and now that you're reflecting on that, maybe you've noticed that you have had a long history of not just like cheating or whatever, but being inconsiderate. Maybe being uh, not totally uh, truthful with, with, with people that you quote unquote love. Maybe it's to show you that you, you, you use the word love too quickly. You know, and that you should guard that word. And guard your heart. There, there, you know, but that's for you to do. Silence is, intelligence is in the silence, okay? And that's where you dwell, okay? Your intelligence springs from the silence. This isn't going to be a long video. I'm wrapping it up right now. Something to leave you with. You're trying to be spiritual. You're trying to be soulful. But your soul, but your spirit is trying to be physical. It yearns to be able to feel and make things and and figure out problems. It, it's it's yearning to, uh, you know, if 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 we're all souls, right? We're all spirits. Say we're in the etheric realm right now. We're in an etheric point of view, and you know, I, I'm a spirit right now, and and you would think that my hand could go right through this phone. If I if if this phone what existed in the spiritual realm, I could hold it. Because it's vibrating on my vibrations. But because this phone is in the earthly realm, my hand will go right through it. Because I am a soul, remember. Now, have you ever seen in a, in, in a nuclear, uh, a, a, nucle a nuclear, I don't know, factory, fuck, a, a, a nuclear plant? When you're, there, there, there's glass, there's thick glass. It's all protected, like bomb-proof glass. And there's these, these glove arms that are just laying there uh, in, inside of the room. And there's these two little circles in the glass that you walk up to and you put your hands in, in the gloves. And while the glass is in front of you, you're actually operating with the dangerous, hazardous materials that you cannot, you cannot handle. And, and, and you are manipulating the gloves in order to be able to work with a substance that you couldn't normally handle without that suit on. That is exactly what this is. So we are, we are spirits. We are souls. And we come up to the glass. Uh, you know, we come into the fetus. And uh, we, we put our hands in the gloves that work in that environment of the nuclear uh, testing grounds, you know, you're, you're pouring the, the, re, the, you're pouring the materials, the hazardous materials in the test tubes and you're putting them down perfectly. And then when you're done the day, you take your hands out of the glove, which is behind the glass and you go home and do your own thing. But when you're in that, when you're in that state, you know, when, when you have your hands in the gloves and you're manipulating it, you're focused, you're there, all your, all your attention is there, all your, um, your fears are because, you know, I hope, I hope I don't spill it. All this, all these things are going through your head. And then once that's done, once you've, you know, nine to five, you clock out, you take your hands off the gloves and you go on without your, you go on about your day. Now your day uh, around work is, is more hours than in work. Like you, your personal life, you have more time to do things in your personal life than you do on your nine to five, your eight hour, your 10 hour shift. 
And that's just, again, like our souls, our um, spirits. There is an endless amount of time that we spend up there. It's countless how much time we spend up there and, and how quickly that goes by. Um, you know, when we, when we leave these suits, you know, the, uh, time on earth is going by, but in that other state of existence, that etheric state, time doesn't work the same. So, you know, you, you, you hear stories how people flew up and went fast, like, you know, faster than the sun goes, and they came back and they were younger, or their, their clocks were, were different. That's because, not because, but that's just to show you that when you're, when you're outside of this, of this existence, Things are, are operating in a sense of timelessness. Okay, so so you you think that it's like an 80 year life, 70 year life, you just spent 70 years and you you go up there and then you incarnate into another body. But while you go up there, th that amount of time is inconceivable. It's, it's like if you've ever seen that movie, uh, have you ever seen the movie um, Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice with um, Michael Keaton and Gina Davis and one of the Baldwins, I think it's Alec. They, uh, okay, they go into this realm with the sand eaters or whatever, those sandworms, right? Uh, you know, they open the door and they fall out and they're in the sand and they wake up and there's no house. And, and, then, and then those big sand monsters are coming up and going down and, and then they go back in the house and it's like nighttime, like everything, everything has changed, but they were out there for a second. They went out there, saw the thing, went back, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice or whatever, go back in, it's nighttime suddenly. And, you know, mad time has elapsed. There's this uh, episode called, Bla uh, there's this episode of Black Mirror, uh, I think it's in the third season, dealing with uh, technology. You know, this guy is a video, a video game tester or whatever, and he gets called to test this new video game. They put him under, okay? Kind of like in the Matrix. They put him under. They put this chip in and, and a gadget around him. He goes under, experiences this whole crazy night. The doctor wakes him up. It was like half of a second. So, outside of this physical reality, time doesn't work the same. This is why, again, I say that children are older than us. You know, you can never, don't ever treat your child like they're dumb, like they don't know shit. They just, they are getting used to this realm again. You know, you, a, a child comes in and they're dancing and they're hopping up and down. It's, that's not real dancing. But they're, they're figuring out how to get the coordination in. When you step up to the glass in that nuclear plant and you put your hands in the glove, it's not easy peasy like you've always been doing it. There's kind of a learning curve. So, with that being said, just as many experiences as you think that you can have on your, in, in your higher uh, levels of consciousness, you know, being from here to there instantaneously, um, manifesting things instantaneously. Remember that you get bored of that too. You know, um, if I call a pizza and they say, okay, it's going to be there in 30 minutes or less. I wait the 30 minutes. It's like nothing. Oh, whatever. Half an hour, watch a show, read a book, draw, paint, whatever. Pass the time. Uh, for a child, they'll be like, is it here yet? Is the pizza coming? When is it? Are we there yet? You know, because they're not used to this. They're not used to the length of time it takes. They're not used to the coordination it takes. So remember that. You're, you're a soul. You're a spirit. You're getting bored up there. You've, you've been manifesting things instantaneously at light speed. It, it, there's no, there's no uh, tricks for you anymore. But when you come down here into the unknown or to the unperfected, the unmastered, then not only do you uh, start, you know, mastering yourself and all this stuff, but you're finding out things about yourself, about your neighbor, about um, your many incarnations. A lot of people think that you incarnate now, then you incarnate then, and then you incarnate then. There is no time. So that's just a whole nother video on itself. But that's all I have to say for y'all today. All right, yo? You're trying to be spiritual. So don't. Don't try to be as spiritual. Don't try to be as soulful. Don't take it so seriously, you know? You didn't meditate in a month, whatever, you know? You are a etheric, you are a consciousness 
that has housed yourself in material. That's, that's all. You have housed yourself in ignorance because material is ignorance. Okay, all right, y'all, this is Masterpiece. And as always, eat to live, not just like, you know, regular food, but food for thought. All right, y'all, peace.